Hello, I'm Dr. Whispers and you're here because you're having an earache okay. Is your earache in both ears or just one? Okay, your left ear Okay. Alright, um, let me just ask you a few questions, okay? And then I'll check it out for you um, have you been exposed to any loud, sudden loud noises or just loud noises in general? No? Okay. Have you noticed any hearing loss while your ear's been hurting? None that you've noticed. Okay. We'll test that just to be sure. Alright. Um, let's see. What else do I need to do? Um, have you had any changes in altitude? You know, going... A uh, higher altitude to a lower altitude. You know, typically that can make some people's ear pressure change. And sometimes that can cause pain. No? Been in the same place for a while? Okay. Okay, well, let me just get my gloves on and get ready. And then I will, I'll first give you a hearing test. And, uh, and then we'll see, uh, about the pain. Any other symptoms? Sore throat? Coughing? No? Okay. It's the time of year for that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go do a series of sound tests. I need you to close your eyes, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell you which side I'm checking first or anything. I need you to tell me which ear you hear the sounds in. Okay? I just want to make sure you can hear them. Okay? Alright. Okay. Ready? Alright, close your eyes. Okay. Hear that? Did you hear it now? Same, okay. Okay. To the side. Okay, it goes closer then. Okay. Alright, now um, I want you to repeat the numbers I tell you. Um, I'm going to tell to each side. After I do one side, you repeat them, and then I'll have a new set of numbers for the other side, okay? All right. And continue to keep your eyes closed. Seven. Your hearing seems to be fine. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do, first I'm going to clean the outer areas of your ear. Um, just kind of use a disinfectant pad. Uh, that way if I happen to touch the outer area with one of my tools, and don't worry, my tools are not going to hurt. If I happen to touch an outer area and then push it further in, it's not any debris or anything that might be on the outside of your ear won't go deep into your ear. Okay, so I've got some drops right here. There's no pain or anything. You might hear a little bit of fizzing. Like a, if you've ever put hydrogen peroxide in your ear. You might hear that just a little, um, but not much. Okay, I need you to go ahead and for your left ear, just tilt your head for me. Good. Good, good, good. Continue to keep it tilted. Alright, 
no, no, don't turn your head just yet. Just leave it for a second. Um, because if you turn it immediately, it might outrun it. Go ahead and take your hair and tuck it behind your ears. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to start with the left side with my cleaning pad. not seeing hardly anything come off on the pad, so that's a good thing. Okay. That way. Alright. Um, the solution should have had enough time to break up any earwax or anything that might be in there. I know I haven't checked your ears yet, but what I'm going to do is do a quick swab of your ears, both of them, and hopefully that uh, solution got out most of any wax that's in so it might be blocking my view to see further down the canal. Okay. Right, so I just need you to hold still for me for a minute. I'm going to take this really simple tool and I'm going to just go in there and scoop out anything that's in there. Okay. All right. Another thing I meant to ask you, have you noticed any change in your wax? Has any of it been coming out? Or do you typically like take, not a cotton swab because you're not supposed to put those in your ear. Do you do that? No? Okay. Um, you haven't noticed any type of liquid or anything that might kind of be coming out of your ear or anything like that. Sometimes people have drainage around the ears. First, just use my um, normal tool to look and see if I have trouble seeing to the very back. Sometimes it's just got something to do with the person's ear canal. Um, I'll use one of my other things, okay? Okay, so right now I'm just going to take this little light and I'm going to stick it in your ear. And I'm going to take a quick look, okay? It actually may take me just a minute, okay? Because I have to get a really close look, so I'm going to... No, let me start. Of 
make that ear look fine. So now I kind of have a blueprint to see if I can tell any difference in your left ear. Okay. Continue to hold still for me. Okay. How deep would you say the pain is? Does it feel like it's in the canal or does it feel very deep like close to your eardrum? I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's not a very large space but it feels a little bit deeper than where you could stick your finger. Okay. How would you rate the pain? Five, okay. Well, that's not what we want, is it? <laughs> okay, yeah, but there's definitely, from looking at your right ear as compared to your left, there is definitely um, some uh, redness and irritation. Okay. However, I want to look further in. So to do that, I'm going to use these funny glasses, but you would be amazed at what they're able to do. Of course, I don't need bows, I can only look with one eye at a time. Um, Alright, I'm going to use this light and look deeper down in it and see if I can see anything or Just to be sure, I'm going to look deep into your right ear, okay?
see what it is. It, all it is is impacted wax. It was just so deep down in there that the solution did not get it. And also me swabbing it out. Um, I don't use that tool deep, deep down in your ear so I didn't get it as well. Sometimes that can happen. You said you don't use Q-tips, right? Okay. You don't put anything in your ear to push it back. You wear headphones, okay? You wear earbuds. It's possible that might have pushed some of it back, but they don't go very deep. So it just may be an issue that you've run into just for the first time ever, and you may not ever have it again. So what I'm going to do is I've got to use one of my other tools, okay? And it's a softer tool. able to get a good bit of it out. Um, tell you what, I'm going to give you some more of that solution in that ear. And we'll see if that can help get it out by forcing it out with water. Or the solution, rather. Okay, so one more time, turn your head over to the right for me. Okay, very good. Just hold still, so Double check one more time. Okay, you can go ahead and raise your head back on this right side. If it looks like maybe it's getting impacted or going to begin to get impacted, I want to go ahead and clean it out too while you're here. Um, no, it seems to just be the, the left one. I've got this little bowl right here. I want you to turn your head to the left, and um, I'm going to use another liquid that I'm going to force in your ear, and it should help push out most of the rest of the, um, the uh, wax. Okay, so go ahead and get your head that way, and don't worry, yes, some of that liquid's coming out.
feel any difference in the pain. You can still feel it, but it's starting to feel a little bit better. That's good. Okay. I'm going to give you um, a type of solution, to, uh, eardrops, to put in your ear for the next two days to help the redness and swelling go down. But, like I said, you do feel some immediate relief. That's good. There was a lot of blockage in there, impacted earwax. So. But hopefully we got that taken care of. I'm going to write you a prescription for these drops. You can just go to your pharmacy and get them. And I want you to use them twice a day. Once uh, in the morning and once at night. And be sure um, you don't shower immediately after you use them. I would recommend if you shower in the morning, um, shower, then use the drops. Or if you shower at night, shower, then use the drops. Because we don't want it washing out. If you ever have the issue again, you're more than welcome to come back and I can do the same thing. You may not have the issue ever again. Who knows? But at least you'll know what it more than likely is. And like I said, I didn't see anything in the right ear, so there's really nothing for me to remove in that one. So hopefully you won't have this issue anymore.